Hello friends, my name is Chris Orwig and I am a Sony artisan, photographer, author, and teacher. And in this tutorial, I wanna share with you some tips which will help you to speed up the way that you work on and process your photographs when using Lightroom. Here we'll take a look at how we can process images quickly and also take advantage of using collections. All right, well, let me quickly click through this set of photographs. These are some photographs of one of my friend's daughter, and she has become a published author and needed some photographs, so I captured these and a ton of others. And what I needed to do was to process them quickly. So what you tend to do when you're working in Lightroom is you start on the left, you work on an image like this one here, and maybe you modify it. So here I modify some of these values, brighten up a few things, or change my sliders. Whatever it is that you do in any area, what you can then do is move to another image like this one right here and click on the previous button. What it will do is it will apply all of the previous settings that you've applied to the other image to this one here. You can even jump out of order. I could jump to an image later and click previous and it would apply those settings as you can see. Now this one, the exposure looks like it needs to come down a little bit. So I'll apply that, click on another image and hit previous in this way. Now, another way that you can process images is let's say, for example, you start on one photograph and you decide that an entire group of images you want to process the same way. Well, here we have two options. You can either click, hold on the shift key and click again. And then if you look at this area here, you have a button which is called sync dot dot dot. You need to flip the switch off. So turn off auto sync for a moment. Whenever you see dots in an Adobe app, it means dialog. So if we click on this, it opens a dialog and says, hey, what do you want to synchronize? We can choose to synchronize specific things, or we can say, hey, I want to synchronize everything. Click synchronize, and it will apply all of the settings exactly identically to all of these images. Another way that you can batch process is you can select photographs and then flip on auto sync. Once auto sync is turned on by flipping that switch, if I make an adjustment here, let me just exaggerate for a moment and remove color, what we'll see is it's removed color from all of the images. So anything that I do, any adjustment, any slider will be applied to the entire group. All right, well, so far so good. Those are some really helpful tips. Yet what I needed to do with these images was batch process them like we've done. Then I needed to create a version of these images which are color, and another version which are black and white. How do we do that and do that quickly? What you do is back in the library module, we go and select the images, create a collection. I'll call this first collection Chloe-Color. And I want to include the selected photos, not do virtual copies, just the photos themselves, and click Create. So here's my collection of these images, all in color. Next, click on the plus icon, choose Create Collection, this time I'll call these Chloe-BW, and I want to make new virtual copies. So I'll leave that, or I'll check that on, make sure that's turned on, and then click Create. So now what I have is this Chloe black and white. These are all virtual copies, yet they haven't been converted to black and white yet. So what we're going to do is go back to the Develop module, click and shift-click. We'll turn on Auto Sync, make sure that's turned on. Then I'll go to my black and white controls, modify them just a little bit. The other settings actually look really good. Now I have batch processed all of these files. So if we were to go back to this folder, what we would see is that we have the color version of the image, then the black and white color and black and white. Now the folder itself may get a little bit awkward because we have these together. That's why I've separated them into their own collection. One collection where I have all of these images you can see here are black and white another collection where I have all of these photographs which are color. Now if ever you lose the collection or just need to organize things back in your folder, know that you can always press the backslash key and go up to the filtering option for attribute and say show me the master photographs or show me the virtual copies and this way you can sort them in this folder as well. But like I said that's a little bit awkward so in my own workflow I like to have them in separate collections like we have right here so that we can quickly have all of these right here and then we can send those to the client or whoever it is that we need to send them to really quickly. All right, well that wraps up our look at a few tips and tricks on how we can optimize and speed up our workflow in Lightroom. 
I hope that you're finding these tutorials to be helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.